My dearest folks, I can't believe this day has finally come. As I'm sitting here writing this little letter, I'm thinking how much I miss you. I'm also thinking of how much joy, love, warmth, and laughter you bring into my life. As I've said before, I feel so comfortable, so complete with you. It feels as if we've been married for 30 years already. I honestly think we could have already been together in another life. I know today is going to be amazing, but most of all, I know that every day after this, no matter how good or bad, everything will always be all right. Because from this day forward, you will always be my wife. You truly are my best friend and one true love. I love you so much, Boogie. Love your folks. celebration of life and love. We have come together today to bear witness to and celebrate this life, this love, now blossoming between these two. We have come to listen to their promises. We have come to pledge all of our love and support to them. And we have come to remember the power of love, good love, true love. We have come to commit ourselves again to the path of love. So welcome. As we begin, I'm going to ask you each in turn if this union is truly your heart's desire. Our lives are made up of choices. And here today before this very particular cloud of witness, you have the opportunity to choose one another again to give yourself more fully and more deeply to this love. Do you intend to give yourself fully and deeply to this love? Do you intend to open to this love, to work for this love? Do you intend to be present and generous and true to this love? And finally, do you intend to follow the path of this love with bravery, with commitment, and with care? If this is your intention, please say, I do. I do. I do. Well, good. Got that over with. Otherwise, all the rest of it is just weird. So someone wiser than me once said that you don't get married all at once, but rather over and over by degrees. Over and over in marriage, we're invited to rise to the occasion, to show up with the truest, most loving, most honest self we can muster. We all know that this love we celebrate today has all the potential in the world. I believe in you too. I believe that you will show up, that you will savor one another, that you will cherish one another, bless one another with authenticity and bravery. 
believe that you will change together. I think this is a big part of it, that this love will evolve, will grow along with you as you grow and change. So these rings will continue on with you both as reminders of this day, of this moment, of all of us gathered here, of all of our love and support for you, and of course, reminders of the promises that you're about to make to one another. David Alexander Hickey, since our very first date, I have loved and felt loved more than I ever thought possible. You make me feel safe, you make me feel beautiful, and you make me laugh. You're incredibly selfless, patient, and hardworking, and I'm proud of you every single day. As your wife, I promise to continue communicating openly, honestly, and fearlessly. I promise to be your dance partner and sous chef for life. I promise to love you like you deserve to be loved and to be your best friend forever. I will spend the rest of my life making sure you know how much I love and appreciate you. You truly are my best friend, and I love you so much. From the first time I said I love you, I knew you were going to be my wife. You're the most loving, considerate, genuine, and beautiful person I've ever met. Words cannot express the feelings I get when I'm with you. I promise to always love you the way I feel you love me. Completely, unconditionally, always, and forever. Truly are my best friend and my better half. As a seal of all that you promised, you could put the ring on her finger. <laughs> and as a seal of all that you promised, you could put the ring on his finger. So by the power vested in me, by the state of New Hampshire and the spirit of all that is holy, I pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss.
grateful to be part of your story. So I love you both very, very much. certainly not the worst. He's really great. <laughs> so, that's it. Thanks a lot. That's, that's the comical thing that you're supposed to do as a brother, right? Just be like, you'd be, you'd be nice to her. Now, unfortunately, I have a little atrophied computer arms. I couldn't probably beat up the oil rig guy. So I'd have to try to chew him out or something. I don't know. But maybe you all thought about this, but I never expected that she was going to meet a guy and I thought I was going to make it way worse. <laughs> but Dave and I have had so much fun since the two of them have known each other. When I'm back at Christmas or back from work or something like that, we get to hang out. He just feels like my friend in a very natural way. It's very clear to me why he gets along so smoothly with, uh, with my sister. And I just could not possibly be more happy for the two of them who have chosen each other to be celebrating it with everyone in one place tonight. It's amazing. Uh, I love my sister, and I love my new brother, and uh, cheers to you both.
those were the good times. And I know, folks, for certainty that these are the good times. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, not next week, right now. So let's all raise a glass to this beautiful couple and let the good times roll.